Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and it is officially April 2022. So that means new cookies and coffees at Gideon's Bakehouse along with some new food and drink offerings here at Disney Springs. And I decided to come out, try a couple of them and just have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I absolutely love coming to Disney Springs every single month and checking out all the new offerings and one of the things I've been focusing on are the movies at AMC now last month they had turning red here and this actually just popped up today for April and it's Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness coming May 6th and I am so excited this is one of the films I am so pumped to actually see we're going to head straight back to Gideon's to see what the new cookie of the month is. And then we're going to get in line because we don't know if it's going to be a standby or a virtual queue. So it could be a 30 minute wait or it could be a three and a half hour wait. And that's why I always stop there first. It is just around 11.30 a.m. and it's a little bit gloomy out. A nice gloomy start to the new month of April. And it looks like it rained a little bit. So hopefully we don't get rained on today. It is also a run Disney weekend. It's the springtime surprise. Last night was the Expedition Everest 5K. Tomorrow morning is the 10K. And then Sunday is the Tower of Terror 10 miler. And I'm gonna be doing the 10 miler. I'm so excited, but a little bit nervous. And uh, that means we're not gonna be eating a lot. We're just gonna be sampling, you know what I mean? Sample the cookies and coffees, one or two bites, and then we freeze them and eat them later at our leisure. We have officially made it to Gideon's and it looks like they are doing a virtual queue. This line right here are for people that already joined the virtual queue and they got called back. So the line here is probably about 20, 30 minutes and we're gonna actually go up and see what the wait time is for the virtual queue and of course join it. All right, I just joined the virtual queue. It is a two and a half hour wait. Two and a half hours, wow. And Disney Springs just opened probably less than an hour ago. So within the first hour of it opening, it's already a two and a half hour virtual wait. Now luckily we don't have to wait in line for two and a half hours. We get to go walk around and explore Disney Springs, but everybody's out today. It's new cookie day. It's April 1st and a lot of people come here just to get that cookie, including myself. While we wait, they gave us the menu and artwork for the month of April. And the summoning song of Lydia Lovecraft is on the front there. And it looks amazing. I love collecting them. And I like how they give you like a little backstory too. Lady, uh, uh, Lady Lydia Lovecraft worked as a medium who traveled the country, reuniting the living with the loved ones who passed. And the cookie itself is a limited edition, the toasted coconut caramel chocolate chip. Oh wow, coconut, caramel, and chocolate chip cookie all together. And it's not like that fake coconut, it is real coconut on there. So I am excited. In the meantime, we can take a stroll over to Amaretz to see if they have anything new for the month of April. Sometimes they're a little bit delayed. Last month, they were celebrating her for National Women's History Month. And uh, this month, I don't know if there's anything going on for April. Like, I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean? I have to kind of think about that. Like, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll always check. They always have something new every single month at Disney Springs, whether it's themed to a certain thing or just because they have monthly specials. Before we make our way over to Amaretz, I did want to stop into a place that I really don't visit often, and that is the Coach Store. Disney just launched a whole entire line of Coach Disney products, and they're pretty pricey, but they look kind of cool, so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys. To be honest, I didn't even know there was a coach store here at Disney Springs. I really never like went in and checked it out until I saw this uh, new coach line, like Disney coach line, and it looks good. They have ears, they have bags, they have sweaters and hoodies. So I thought it'd be fun to show you and show you guys the prices because like I said, it is very, very pricey. I honestly never really noticed that there was a coach store here, but I like the window displays. Look at, they got some retro Walt Disney World stuff and that's kind of what the merchandise is like. A nice like selection of retro Walt Disney World merchandise. And take a look at this. It's super, super fancy. Here's one of these sweaters I was talking about, the 1971 ones. I like it, I think they have one in the back too, like a, a, uh, a sweater here. Let me pull it to the side there. See, these look so good. I wonder how much they are. 
$350 for this one right here and then $375 for this one right here. Wow. They also have a nice little bag right here. This one looks cool. I think this is the newest one. I don't know. There's no price tag on there. And I'm kind of very cautious when I touch things because I'm guessing it's probably like $500. Oh, I was way off. It is $695. $695 for that bad boy right there. So you can definitely see a little bit pricey. Oh, they have t-shirts too. Ooh, wow. I didn't know they had t-shirts. T-shirts look like they are $175 for the t-shirts. And I don't know what this one in the back is. Oh, but that castle looks cool. That one is nice. Definitely a little bit pricey there. And the ears, they don't have in there. They said that they have the ears at Ever After and the co-op. So we're going to go check to see how much the ears are, the coach ears. Okay, so we're heading the Ever After Jewelry Company. And this is where they said they had the ears. Oh, yeah. Look at it. A whole line right here. A bunch of stuff. Oh, and here are the ears. Looks like, uh, oh, they're very pretty. They have a whole bunch of stuff on them. And uh, there's no price. Uh-oh, no price. I don't know how much they are. We're going to ask to see how much those ears are. But I have to say, it is really pretty in here, isn't it? I love it. And they're playing, like, really wonderful Disney music. And they have a gigantic mural of the 50th uh, Cinderella Castle right there. $295 for those years, which I honestly, it's, it's a lot lower than I thought it was going to be because I'm sure you guys have seen the other years, like the Lux ones that are like 300, 400, 500, but 295 and the shirts being like 175, and it's a little bit out of my price range. I'll stick to my Roosevelt. And I do love this Roosevelt, but this is my new shirt. This is an Iron Man one, if you guys can tell. These are the uh, arc reactors actually on the shirt. So it's really, really fancy. Now we have made it to Amoretz and we can see what uh, special cake they got going on for the month of April. It looks like the sign just shows the regular 50th celebration cake. So I don't know if they have anything special. You know what I mean? Usually they do, but let's take a look, see on the other side. Yeah, it looks like it's just that. We'll still look though, you never know. The only thing I see that is kind of new are these desserts right here. Sunset on mile marker zero. Key lime tart with graham cracker and uh, meringue. Looks pretty fancy. I think that's something they actually put together for the springtime surprise because I did notice on the way in, but it wasn't open, so I couldn't show you. They had a marathon uh, drink at Club Cool. So they're doing a lot of stuff for the springtime surprise this weekend, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna be running it, so we're not gonna be getting it and trying it. I'm gonna save it for the cookies and the coffees and the cakes that we'll be trying later. You know, it's funny, you can look, but we can't eat it. <laughs> One thing I definitely needed to do today was restock on Gracie's pup cups. So I might as well stop in now and uh, grab them for her and see if they actually have maybe a cupcake for the month of April. Looks like the cupcake that they have now is the Black Forest Astrology Series. And this is being baked from 321 to 43. So it actually ends in two days, but kind of interesting. And of course, they have all of the other amazing cupcakes here. But we're here for the little pup cups, little Gracie cakes. There we go. We just got Gracie her cupcakes. They even put her name so when they call it out, it's going to be for her. And pup cakes. We love our dogs and they deserve sprinkles too. They do. Gracie? Gracie? Right here. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you, <laughs> you too. I don't know why it made me giggle so much when he came out and he's like, Gracie? And I'm like, oh yes, right here. I'll pick those up for her. I'll give those to the princess. Now we're going to make our way back to Gideon's and it's just about two hours, so we're definitely close. It went by fast. I mean, for you guys it went by fast, but me, I kind of just kind of lingered around Disney Springs for two hours. Well, it's our time now and uh, we're in line. They gave us another menu and I got some pup cakes. I should have grabbed a bag, but I got one of these because the other one might have gotten ruined in my pocket. Why did I say it like that? In my pocket in my pocket but <laughs> i got uh, kind of like to collect them so uh we want one in pristine condition in my pocket <laughs> wow. 
now that we're in line, I found out that they also have a coconut cream cake slice. So we might get a couple of cookies, a couple of cake, a couple of cookie cake or two, you know? I mean, it sounds amazing. Coconut cream, oh boy. It doesn't look like they have any special cold brews this month, so I might have to stick to one of my classics, you know, the peanut butter, the pumpkin chai, or the cookies and cream. They're all amazing, and when you mix them together, it's kind of a, a really cool experiment. But I might just stick to one today. It is just about our time, and I think we're gonna go inside. Thank you. Fancy. <laughs> I get so excited every time I walk in here just so I can smell all the amazing smells. They actually sell all the candles too. I have quite a collection that I burn through. Like I don't keep them, I actually burn them. And right now I'm still working off my banana bread one, which was one of my all time favorite cookies. Here is a look at the cookie of the month. Roasted coconut caramel chocolate chip. So it's a chocolate chip cookie with roasted coconut on it and it's infused with caramel, but I don't think they have the uh, caramel cream cake slice in. It looks like they have the rainbow one and this looks amazing. This is brand new too. It started I think last month and I haven't tried it. So if we don't get the uh, coconut cake, I think I'll get this one to try, but I'm not seeing the coconut cake. We gotta stick our hand through the flames to grab our cookies and our cold brew. <laughs> Thank you, see ya. See ya next month. <laughs> I asked about the coconut cream cake and it's only available Saturdays and Sundays. So we couldn't get it today, today's Friday. But I got the rainbow crunch cake instead. And this is now a part of the regular lineup. Delicious things await inside here. And I can't wait to show you guys. Half of the fun is unboxing these little precious beauties. Today we are gonna be doing an unboxing of the cookies and cake slices at Gideon's, and I just love it. Like, it's so fun. Oh, wow. This cake looks amazing. Lord. And it's got gigantic rainbow crunch pieces in there. I kinda wanna keep it nice and neat, though. I don't wanna mess up the frosting. Oh, my Lord. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now that we got the cake unboxed, it's time to pull out the cookie. You're gonna have to pull out the cookie. Wow, this feels so soft already. I kind of touched the top of it, and I was like, oh boy. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh my lord. Look at that coconut on there. Look at the coconut that's down there. You can put that back on there. And why is this cookie so soft? Something seems so soft about it. And I know I'm gonna probably get a bunch of chocolate all over me. I definitely have some napkins. And I think we're gonna dive into the cookie first. Cookie, then cake. Cookie, then cake. And we're not gonna eat it all. I'm gonna uh, just try a little bit, a little bit. You know we have to break into the cookie first. We gotta break it in half. And I, I feel like this is just gonna fall apart. I feel like it's falling apart already. This might be the softest cookie I've ever gotten from Gideon's. And take a look at that. All right, you ready? Here it is. Oh boy. It does not have any business falling apart like that. I am full of chocolate, holy moly. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, here we go. This cookie is phenomenal so soft and it has a little crunch with the coconut in there and i think the cookie it's like the traditional chocolate chip cookie but it's infused with caramel and i bet you that's what makes it so soft and i love it this is so good i don't even know if they could do a hot cookie with this because it would be almost impossible to hold i feel like if you did a hot cookie it would just fall apart did you see how it crumbled like isn't that mind-blowing and that's how the cookie crumbles what was that from i think it was uh, bruce almighty <laughs> and uh yeah Unbelievable, I loved it. It still doesn't beat my favorite banana bread cookie, but it definitely is up there with my favorites. It's definitely better than last month's and February's actually, so I think this is the best cookie since January. Enough of the cookie business though, it's time to get down to the cake business. And look at that, I'm gonna get a little of this icing right there. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab right on in here. Look at this cake slice. All right, here we go. Bam. Wow. Mmm. I'm going back in. Okay. My new favorite cake slice. 
My new favorite cake slice. Wow. I love it. Holy moly. Seriously, the temptation is real to just keep eating some of this because it is so good. And I had to stop myself from eating the cookie. I had to be like, put that cookie down. And I don't know what to do about this cake slice. Oh, huh. I just love it all. It's what a combination. It goes so good with the coffee. Speaking of the coffee, I didn't even get to talk about it, but I got the cookies and cream, which is a really good classic. And mixing these, oh, hmm. Oh. Much too good. <laughs> all right, you. Back in the box you go. Hey, you. I'm gonna try to do this so delicately. Delicately. <laughs> oh boy, there we go. Back in the box. Perfect. Oh wow, I made a big mess out of the top of that. I am in serious need of a hand wash because I have rainbow frosting and chocolate chips all over it. And I don't want to touch the camera, so we're just gonna kind of collect our garbage and find the nearest restroom. But I have to say, that was good. This is a good month here in April. This is a good, good month. The uh, coconut coffee or the coconut uh, cookie is so good it falls right apart and I love the caramel infusion and I like the backstory a little bit you know what I mean it is really kind of cool and uh, the rainbow crunch cake is now here to stay and I'm a fan I'm a fan now that we've gotten our hands all clean, I wanted to stop into Aaron McKinnon's bakery here. And I always like showing this because this bakery itself is always vegan, always gluten free, and always delicious. And sometimes they have some good monthly specials. They do have donuts, cinnamon rolls, cookie sandwiches, crumb cakes, coconut mounds, a lot of amazing items, even ice cream. The most delicious thing I think I've ever gotten in here though was the pineapple upside down cake. And I was so shocked because I was just like, wait, I'm like, this is vegan and it's also uh, gluten free. Like, I was really impressed. Right here is a look at the pineapple upside down cake. And I'm telling you, it is so amazing. They also have strawberry shortcake and they're doing uh, happy autism acceptance month bars. This is for the month of April. So that's something we can celebrate, happy autism acceptance. And look at those bars back there, they look good. They also have the 1971 brownie bars. And like I said, all of this is vegan and gluten free. Some good, good stuff here. I would definitely be walking out with one of those upside down pineapple cakes, uh, but I already have a cookie and a cake slice that I'm going to be putting in the freezer, so I'm going to have to pass, but I highly suggest checking that place out. And now I think we're going to make our way to maybe a theme park. I think we're going to bounce out. I spent a lot of time waiting uh, for Gideon's, and now I think uh, I'm going to head out. I'm going to leave Disney Springs, but before I do, I wanted to show you guys the boats actually launching from the boathouse. No matter how many times I walk past a boathouse and I see the boats actually launching in the water, it still just completely amazes me and I just have to stop and just stare. Isn't that crazy? I've seen it like a thousand times, but I'm still like, this is great. And I've done it a couple of times. I even got to do it with my mom and sister. And you're gonna actually watch it take off and drive right on into the water there. <laughs> that tire looks a little flat right there. It's oh. Doesn't it look flat? You got a flat. You're riding on a flat. There it goes. Whoosh, right in the water. Seriously, aren't those boats amazing? I love it. Like, they're so fun just watching dive into the water. And if you guys ever want to do those, I'll give you a little insider tip. Make reservations at the boathouse, eat inside, like have your lunch or dinner there. And then on the receipt, they give you a $25 off coupon. So you're kind of saving because if you plan on eating down here, you'll save $25. Because I know a lot of people that eat other places and then go get the boat ride, but you might as well save $25. Now we're gonna get moving along. Like I said, I think we're gonna go head to one of the theme parks, meet up with some friends, because I really don't know if there's much here. Like I, I kinda looked around and April doesn't seem like there's a lot going on, but I do wanna stop into Disney style, see if they got any new merchandise. I always like stopping in the Disney style. They always have things in here that they don't sell in other places or in the other areas of the parks. So you can find like really cool items. And you never know, you might find something good. I might find something good I might wanna buy. Oh boy, is that a Goofy movie? Is that Roxanne? Holy moly. 
That is a Roxanne shirt. I love a goofy movie and I love Roxanne. <laughs> and they also have the nice Tomorrowland collection over here with the People Mover and the Paging Mr. Morrow socks. Very fancy there, Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. I also have to say, I think I kind of like this vest. It reminds me of like a biker here. Look at it. And on the back side, I could wear something like this. I think it would look really cool. What do you guys think? I can tell you one thing to expect in April, and that is for the high humidity days to return. You know it's actually very rainy during April, May down here in Florida, so whenever there's a lot of rain, it gets very humid. So humid, it kind of just like hits you in the face like pow. So uh, be prepared. But now we have successfully made our way to Disney's Hollywood Studios. And there's the Tower of Terror. I'm so excited for the 10 miler on Sunday. And this is gonna be the first Run Disney event where we're gonna be able to run through Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land. So it's gonna be a treat. There we are. Hi, Alex. Hi, Kathy. Mark, oh, oh what's going on, Alex? Oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, I love your hats. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, thank you. I love when you get to a park and you have great cast members that give you, like, a nice welcome. And it kind of makes the day start off great. First, we see two great cast members. And now, we see Donald and Daisy welcoming guests as soon as we walk in. Look at them. Oh, Donald just gave her a kiss. Oh, whoa. Now this is a really good love story happening right here. Something special. They're hugging, they're kissing, and good news, uh, Disney just announced April 18th, we're gonna be able to uh, do regular character meet and greets again. So we're gonna be able to hug the characters. So that's really awesome. We'll just get close and like take a photo together. That's the thing I'm excited for most. And is Donald trying to be King Kong? Is that what it is, King Kong? I don't know what's going on there. He's got the muscles, the guns. Yes. <laughs> Too good. Nice. Thanks, Donald. <laughs> Whenever the characters are like high up like that, I never know if they're kind of like communicating with me because I'm staring at them and especially when I'm looking through the camera and I don't know that there's people like to the left or the right or behind me. And it was funny because he was doing that King Kong thing. I don't know. He was doing like the muscles thing and I don't know if he was talking to me. So I was just like, is there like a guy over here that's got muscles? I don't know what was happening. And then I looked and I was kind of by myself. So I'm like, was that for me? I don't know. <laughs> Well, this is kind of a really cool treat. They have a whole bunch of Moon Knight advertisement in uh, Hollywood Studios, and I watched the first episode and I'm so excited. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you guys are fans of the Moon Knight show. I know it's not a very well-known character, but uh, it really is a great character, and I'm excited to see what they do with the rest of the series. Well, that was a quick trip to Hollywood Studios, but as I was in the park, I remembered that my friends were actually putting on an ice cream social at a new ice cream parlor. My friends, the Lost Bros, and also my other friend is going to be dressing up as a Mickey Waffle mascot, and I forgot that I said I was going to go, and instead of hanging at Hollywood Studios, I kind of felt like I should bring you. So I'm going to bring you guys along and have some ice cream and hang out with some friends. And here we are at Kelly's Homemade Ice Cream. Looks like there's a line wrapping around the building here. It's definitely cool. It's like a big ice cream social that we're having. In, uh, it's basically between Kelly's and uh, the Lost Bros. They're hosting it, and I'm excited. Sean, you ready to get in your uh, Mickey Waffle outfit? That's not me. That's, that's not going to be me inside. The oh, that's not going to be arrived. you? The waffle has arrived. I want to be the funnel cake. <laughs> If you guys don't remember, the Lost Bros, Cody and Lex, they were actually with us on the pontoon boat. And uh, that was a really fun video, and I'll put their information in the description below. Also, I'll put Kelly's. This is in Windermere, so it's right behind the Magic Kingdom. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to check out a local ice cream shop and just kind of hang out in an ice cream social, you know what I mean? Putting on shoes one at a time. Oh. Just tell you how to do this. Okay. So you stick your arms in first, and then we'll have yes. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have to help. You. There we go. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this. Wait, wait. 
Yeah, Sean, don't go out on the road. Don't go out on the road, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> what about your signature dance, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so, so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna hold Waffly's hand so we can cross the street. Come with me, Waffly. Oh, you can't run. Take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Big step, big step, big step. There we go. There we go. Just a waffle walking through a park here. <laughs> I ate something like you the other day on a boat. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop laughing. Yeah. She's like, I'm here. Let's go. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who can take photos of Wally? This is him. <laughs> you got a duck. Duck. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, Waffly's in the building. <laughs> I'm sorry, Waffly's got to go. His time here is over. He's got to go home. He's got a curfew. I know. No one wants him to leave. And this is all you came for. And you're not even sure if you're going to stay anymore. Yep. But he's got to go. It's he's got to get up early for breakfast. Yeah, he's got to get up. He's got Waffly's tomorrow. All right, Waffly's done for this evening. We got to head back now. Watch out, you got a car coming. <laughs> the people driving by just seeing this walking down the street. Look at this. <laughs> Sean had to switch out, and this is the event shirt, actually. And I'll put a link, like I said, for the Lost Bros for their clothing line. But isn't this so fancy? Look at it. Reminds is it of a nice popsicle in the Summers Hills up in Pennsylvania. That's the way. Cream truck coming down the street on a beautiful weekend. It's probably cooler than the waffle. It really was. Shh, that's your secret identity. Don't tell anyone. There might be kids around. <laughs> now I think we're gonna head on in, get in line, and try some homemade ice cream. I'm excited. It's a hot day and definitely a good way to cool off. Here it is, and look at some of the flavors they have. Rose Almond Pistachio, Nutella Swirl, Rice Krispy Cream, Rum Raisin, Chocolate Heath Caramel, and then those are just the April featured flavors. They have a lot more up there. Banana Pudding, oh wow, I'm excited. Oh, and they also have a special Lost Bros menu that I'm gonna show you when we get up there. Here is the Lost Bros special menu for today. And they've got a figment popcorn bucket, which is purple sweet cream ice cream with yellow buttered popcorn on it. And look at it right there. They also have a Mickey waffle and bacon. So it's like bacon and waffles and waffle churro dippers. So they all look pretty amazing. You can actually sample any of the flavors that you want. So I definitely want to try the figment popcorn bucket because it's limited just for today. But I'm very interested in the Rice Krispy Kreme because I love Rice Krispy treats. So little sample, little figment, bada bing, bada boom. Here's the Rice Krisp or the the Rice Krispy Kreme, and I like that you get to try them. And look at you can see Rice Krispies in there. I love the fact that there's like whole Rice Krispy treats in there. I'm gonna go. You guys could oh yeah. All right, here is the figment popcorn bucket. Doesn't it look so majestic? I really love this, it is really cool. Look at them back here making the churros, the churro waffles. All right, that is some, that's an impressiveness right there. Fresh waffles with a little cinnamon sugar on it. I like it. I don't have anywhere to stand. It is super busy here, so I'm gonna just uh, kind of wait. Maybe I should have scooped it first. I should have scooped it first. <laughs> oh! I'll lend a hand. Thank you. Look at this. Gonna get a little popcorn and a little bit of the. Uh, there we go. Ooh! How is it? It's good. It tastes like caramel, like caramel pop popcorn. I like it. I like the ice cream a lot here. I really like this figment popcorn bucket. 
if it made popcorn a bucket, but <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a repeat of the uh, pocket. Anywho, uh, I really like the ice cream, but the Rice Krispy Kreme, that was the best. I feel like I'm gonna come all the way back out here to get that eventually one day, because it was so like good. And it reminded me of Ample Hills. You know, Ample Hills, before they closed down, they have really cool stuff. R.I.P. Ample Hills, R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> On top of all the ice cream, you can buy some cool merchandise, including a waffly shirt and some waffly stickers. So I think I might get a waffly shirt. Here you get a random, it's a dollar, and uh, you can get a random sticker, but I'm all about the shirts. Well, this was a lot of fun. Good ice cream, good friends, a little waffly here. I got a shirt, and yeah, this was amazing. I will put all of the links in the description so you guys can check this out, but I had a great time, and it's so fun. I'll definitely be back, and I'm happy that I brought you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I know it was kind of a little bit all over the place. Disney Springs, Hollywood Studios, Kelly's Ice Cream, but it was a good day. So we'll see you next time. Bye. And where's my pretty princess? Oh, where's that face? Give me that face. Oh, do you want a pup cup? You want a pup cup? Huh? You want a pup cup? Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Huh? You a good girl? You want a cupcake? Oh, huh? Oh. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs>